It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be doing something uh, slightly unusual, looking at a brand new light that was sent to me, Colbor. So I'm gonna go through, I uh, haven't tested it, haven't opened it any, any uh, steps past here. So, cool carrying case, and uh, I'm gonna open this light up. I think it's pretty similar to what I have here from Nanlite, I believe it is. Yes, Nanlite S150. Oh, so this is a 60, so it looks a little smaller than what I'm used to. But anyways, we're gonna put it through its paces and we're gonna see how it does. Tiny, 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 tiny little light. Uh, okay, it's interesting. Hopefully uh, good things come in small packages. And uh, some weather sealed there. It's cool. Kind of hard metal shell there. Uh, casing seems uh, high quality. Power, necessary. And uh, some sort of clamp. And what I'm gonna do is, without a lot of setup or faulty raw, I'm going to plug it in, put it in this soft box, and so we can see if it's a good solution. Now, I think it's a budget-friendly solution. I'll put the price up here. Um, and so, Let's get this uh, thing started, shall we? How are you doing? You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, very, uh, oh, it's a USB-C power adapter. It's like a little accessory. I wasn't ready for that, wasn't prepared for that. Hit power, nothing happens. I'm assuming this is where the light comes from. I feel like I'm gonna blind myself if I look at that. It feels like there's a little pr plastic protector there. Yes, there is a little blue tinted plastic. And I'm gonna hit power. Holy smokes, never look directly into the light. Now this is, I feel like I'm outside right now. Okay, it's 100%, 2700 Kelvin, which it looks a lot warmer than that, so I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but we are gonna, woo. Uh, let's see, set. Don't know what that does, rate, I don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. Oh, effects, fire, it's kinda cool. I, I would love to turn the effects off, please. Okay. Lightning. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Okay, was that lightning? I, I feel like that wasn't good lightning effect. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, here's lightning. Th it has a little cloud and lightning. Okay, interesting. SOS, in case I need to send a signal out this window here. Fire, okay, how do I turn the effects off? Press and hold. I would love to have no effects. That looks like a paint icon. I don't know what that is. Okay, rate. Oh, there's different rates. So level three, level four, level five, level one. So I'll put it on level, whoa, level one. Here we go, effect. I just want no effect. Okay, 0%, punch it once, 25%, 50%, 75%, super easy to use. I'm gonna put on 25%. I just don't like, it's a little too warm for me. So I'm gonna go down here, I hit 3200 Kelvin, 4000, 5600. Uh, I'm used to the higher I go in Kelvin, the warmer it is, and this seems opposite, so I don't really understand that. 56,000, okay. I'm just put on 56. There we go, that's 56. All right, I just had to show you this. It's hard to see, but there's a uh, little ball bearing inset here, and there's a little indentation here, and you literally just line it up, and then you slide it in like a quarter of an inch and just snaps. Uh, and then it's just lined up and snapped in like that, okay, it's, don't get it cockeyed. But then it this has the uh, Bowens mount, right? So, ready to go. 
All right, I don't know if you can see this, but it's very, very slick, uh, the way it snaps into the Bowens mount. Tiny, tiny little light. You just put it right here, line it up, click, you're done. Okay, again, pretty clever here, not, uh, not gonna lie. This slides in to a hot shoe mount on the bottom. Uh, so you just have this, uh, it's so funny how everything in camera gear, if you don't have a clamp or a stand or a grip, sometimes you just can't do the job. So this is a hot shoe mount in the bottom of the light. You just twist right there. And I'm just gonna reach right over and put this on the uh, very pole right here where I had the Nan light. Be back in a second. All right, for the record, this is the Nan light 150 set to 25% pretty pretty bright and uh, it's 25 percent so i'm going to try to put in the soft box and see what happens and now we're going to switch it that's the uh that's the colbor colbor cl60 video light and i'm going to tell you it's pretty pretty pleasant and it's very small it uh saves a little bit of room on the pole but if you're packing it to go somewhere it's going to be able to to go with you much more nimbly than uh I mean, this is what I was lugging around like a theater light. It's, it's, it's probably three times the size. So, um, so far, so good. I'm going to be using it uh, for the next uh, month or so and just decide if, you know, maybe, maybe I just go with this. And actually the warmth, the light looks very gentle and warm. I like the tone of the light. We'll have to see if there's some sort of remote. I'll have to look into that and see if there's an easy way to adjust it. Uh, maybe from the smartphone and uh, looking forward to it. So uh, thanks for watching this and thanks to Colbor for sending me the light. Uh, I think it may be a good solution if you're looking for a, a small portable video light that packs a lot of punch. This 25% power, let's kick it up and see what it can do. All right, that's 50% power. So that's bright, I'm feeling washed out. Now that's 75% power. I could be way back here and I'm getting uh, great light, great light. Let's go 100%. All right, that's 100% power. That's a lot, we don't need all that. All right, shut it down before we catch on fire.